city when he left the Ozarks Road, home with a tourist who'd come from Oak Park. He's looking out for a job somewhere that paid. With his second cousin, Elmer Jones, he moved in, didn't know he'd never come back again when he left his country home where he should have stayed. On the evening and shift, he worked as a head knocker, kept the automatic pistol inside of his locker. That I sold in that time, my baby had the crew. Well, I sold him the bullets and I sold him the gun, but I never really thought he'd go and shoot no one. It caused a horrible fish fry bloodbath Friday night. It was a fish fry bloodbath Friday night. Here's the story of the boy who had it in his sights and the day that finally pushed him over the line. Yeah, he can't have it, no one else can you. Don't want to cross a fish loving man, you'll have a genuine fish fry bloodbath Friday night. Now working on the schedule was quite a transition for a boy used to go in nowhere but fishing. He missed the hunt, but he also missed the taste. He worked Monday to Friday every night when Saturday come he went looking for a bite, but for eating fish that it was one day too late. He started missing that fish and it preyed on his mind, cause all around town he saw all the signs from the moose and the elks and the veterans of foreign wars. Advertising fish fries on Friday night when the folks come and eat everything inside all the folks that is except this boy, of course. It was a fish fry bloodbath Friday night. Here's the story of the boy who had it in his sights and the day that finally pushed him over the line. If he can't have it, no one else can. You don't want to cross a fish loving man. You'll have a genuine fish fry bloodbath Friday night. Taking a day off the of slaughterhouse chores, they told him, don't you bother coming back no more. If you like it so much, go eat your fish full time. So he filled his lunchbox full of ammunition, and in a somewhat irate condition, he set out on his short-lived life of crime. He disrupted the meals at the usual places, wiped the cornbread and smiles off all the faces, and when he's done, he still had one clip left. But by that time, the police started walking and the folks on the TV news started talking about the unfolding fish fry bloodbath Friday night. There was a fish fry bloodbath Friday night. Here's the story of the man who had it in his sights and the day that finally pushed him over the line. If he can't have it, no one else can. You don't want to cross a fish loving man. You'll have a genuine fish fry bloodbath Friday night. And a river of blood looked like he'd been swimming when he ducked into the shelter for battered women. He thought some hostages might help somehow. He pulled out his pistol and he threatened to shoot. They met him with a 21 gun salute. That was the end of the fish fry bloodbath Friday night. That was a fish fry bloodbath Friday night. Here's the story of the boy who had it in his sights and the day that finally pushed him over the line. If he can't have it, no one else can. You don't want to cross a fish loving man. You'll have a genuine fish fry bloodbath Friday night. That was the story of the fish fry bloodbath Friday night. And as the end of the fish fry bloodbath Friday night. <laughs>